Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to convert your favorite DVDs to MP4 on a Windows computer using one of the best DVD converter apps called VideoProc DVD Converter, right here. This is the look of the app. It looks just like the Mac version. So it has four distinct features that you can use. We have video, DVD, downloader, and recorder. And the one that I'm going to show you today is DVD here. You can see below it, they say DVD conversion and backup. So you can convert any DVD or even backup any DVDs that you have to the digital format. So let's just click on this one here, DVD. And at the top, you can see they have three different options. You can insert your DVD through the DVD drive. That's the first option here. It will show you something like this. Like mine here, I already insert my DVD movie called Doctor Strange Multiverse. You can also select the second option folder if you already copied the whole folder of that DVD into your computer or even select the ISO file. But again, in my case, I just select this here and this is the DVD that I've just inserted at the moment. So the first thing you need to do is select the format, the target format that you want to convert it to. Click here and you click on general profiles. Now you can see here we have MP4 video. That's what we're looking for. You can of course convert to any other formats as you like to suit your device that you have for example if you using it on an iphone or ipad you may select this one here you can also select a lot more different options for various devices that you own but in today's video i only want to focus on just general mp4 video with h264 video codecs which will support most of devices on the market so i just select this and i click on done and if you want to rename the movie that you want to convert to click on rename and here not just put Doctor Strange Multiverse converted and it would leave everything else the same. You can even add ad work to it. But in my case, I just don't. I just leave it like that. I click on done. And if you want to change the screen resolution, you do not want it to be 720 by 480. You're going to roll your cursor onto the format that you select. In this case, MP4 and click on this setting icon here and it will allow you to modify the resolution. So right here, click on it. Let's just choose 1920 by 1080. You can choose higher. It depends on your DVD as well. If it is like, let's say Blu-ray DVD, you may want to select it after 4K when you want to convert. But in my case, I just select only 920 by 1080 and I would leave everything else exactly the same. If you want even higher quality video, you can even move this to slow, which means it will take a lot more time to convert but I just leave it by default like that I click on done and you can see here the new name for this movie after you convert it's gonna be Doctor Strange Multiverse converted and again on this side they have hardware acceleration engine just to check if your computer support the hardware acceleration or not click on option and in this case, my Windows computer does not have any supported hardware. So all of these are in gray mode like that. It means it does not support. If it supports, it will make the conversion process faster. But in this case, it does not support. So it may take a bit longer time than normal. So once everything is set, you can click on run here to start the conversion. So let me click on run. So let's wait for it. So here you can see the video that we have converted. The size is 2.7 gigabytes. You double click on it. For copyrighted reason, I have to mute the sound. So you can see the video works fine. So again, you can convert to a tons of various formats, not just MP4. Again, you can just select the device you want to convert to and you can convert into it. You can convert and post it on YouTube as well or Vimeo or Facebook or just general video 4K. Yeah, if you want to convert to 4K, you can just select that as well. So if you're interested in this app, the links are in the description. You can check them out. The app supports both Mac and Windows. 
So if you're using Mac, you can also check my previous videos about how to convert or turn a DVD into a digitized version on a Mac computer. You can check that as well. And also the promotion is still on. You can click on the link below and get some discount from the link, which means you don't have to pay full price. You will get up to 30% discount. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.